Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Brian if you're new around here, but for returning subscribers, you smashing gorgeous legends. Thanks for coming and checking out this video. We've got some actually awesome Outriders news to share with you guys. The TLDR free update dropping on the 16th for new expeditions, completely 2.0 reworked loot system, legendaries, uh, rework systems and more. I'm going to dive into the details. Honestly, this is what I've been waiting to see as it relates to Outriders, but beyond the update that's dropping, we also got confirmation on their first expansion dropping in 2022 called World Slayer. Actually, I got to say that differently. World Slayer. Anyway, I do not apologize. We go on hard here. Yes. All right. So first and foremost, it looks like they have been taking in the feedback. Obviously, the bugs really put a dent in this game's launch. And that being said, it looks like this update is going to not just address all the issues, but having those issues being fixed over the last six months. But here's what's also changing about the expeditions. First and foremost, they're taking off time pressure, meaning expeditions rewarded more loot with a timer, which incentivizes one way to play, and that's DPS, damage per second. So that's going away. You can still optionally put a timer on yourself for bragging rights. So it's good to see options brought to the players, but regarding the reward structure, if you want to tackle the expeditions solo, if you want to come up with your crazy solo build or duo build, expeditions will now offer more for you as a player. It's not about beating the clock. It's about being the player that you want and playing the way that you want. And I think that's going to be a real big win for the overall set of the game. Now, UI wise transmog is coming into the game. I thought the UI looked pretty solid. This was actually a really smart uh, update to have, especially because when you start talking about an expansion to Outriders, sitting down and looking at the course of the end game and the, the loot system and how those things kind of play out. Well, I think getting that right ends up building hype for the next expansion, as opposed to saying like, well, they didn't really get it right and they really didn't fix it. Well, it looks like they were fixing it, and it looks like they're getting, um, obviously, m my, me excited to see this world and story continue in a new expansion. Overall, I think this was a really smart move, especially for November. Now, this is also a hard time to launch a game. Let's not lie. Like, the lots of things are going on, like, as I'm recording this video. Like, as I'm recording, everybody's still kind of wondering to see if Halo Infinite drops today in terms of multiplayer, or if they announce that we're going to be getting that sooner. Uh, all signs kind of point to maybe, which isn't really, you know, a news breaking story. But at the end of the day, there's a lot going on in the world of gaming in November. But I think this is a good thing. I think this is going to have me something go in and return and obviously check out the new end game, uh, you know, cycle. How does it feel? How does it feel with my builds that I've got? How does it feel with multiplayer? And they say they put a lot of time in improving the multiplayer system. They've fixed out all the issues with cross play. I think that's really key. The thing that I'm taking away from this that's a disappointment is no cross save. I think cross save is one of the limiting factors that I've had with this game, being that I don't always want to play it on my PC. I would like to play it on the Xbox or I'd like to play it on like Stadia or I'd like to play it on GeForce Now, which actually works out, but it does limit my, my spaces to play and my progress to carry on. If they gave me the ability to progress any platform that I want to play, I think overall I would have a better experience with the game because sometimes I just don't want to deal with all the nonsense, but that's me. At least it sounds like crossplay is getting that update that it's been needing. I know we tried using it and, and it was, it was stressful. It was always kind of this ordeal that you had to jump through overall. We got the, the pluses are the transmog system. The pluses are the no timing of the expedition system. The pluses are the reward structure being kind of reworked loop 2.0, I guess almost, We'll have to put this to the test tomorrow when we go hands on with it. Um, I think the lots of positives here. I think a lot of things that people can get excited about for this game. They continue to obviously hit home that it's not a games as a service game. And I think that's one of the reasons why you don't see a lot of people talking about it. Uh, content is king. And if you look at a cycle of content that the game has, it's been primarily just fixing bugs and doing those kind of things. New horizons, new expeditions, transmog, gameplay adjustments, class balance adjustments, multiplayer fixes, all in all, there's nothing I think to look at this and be, be sad about. If you've already got the game, I think this is going to be something for us to all go check back out together. And I'm looking forward to giving you guys my thoughts with these adjustments and seeing how they play. So hopefully we'll have some fun playing some Outriders here soon. Um, if you haven't ever played 
look for a deal on the game. I think it's definitely worth a playthrough for its story and its world. And especially because they're already now committing to an expansion, this is a really good opportunity to find that right deal on the game. And then that way you're setting yourself up if you end up liking it to be ready for an expansion and have characters leveled. So for me, I think I have one more class that I haven't finished leveling. So that's going to be on the docket. We'll have to, I'll have to figure that out. It's been, it's been a little while since I've logged into Outriders, uh, you know, as I'm sure it has been for you. Anyway, guys, that's what we know. We got dates. We've got so much more to cover and it's going to be exciting to see how Outriders goes from here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to let me know what you're thinking in the comments. I'm looking forward to reading your comments and getting your thoughts about how uh, you feel these announcements play out in terms of whether you're going to return, whether you're going to start, or do they need to do more? And what would that more be? Like if nothing here uh, appealed to you, what is it that you're looking for? I'd love to know. Anyway, guys, thanks for being here. Thanks for being awesome. Hopefully I'll see you in my next video. But until then, take care. Friendly fun and optimistic community. Baby, coming from an MMO community field with toxicity, this is an amazing breath of fresh air. <laughs> Keep it up, baby. Oh, yeah. I just want to say I'm really glad you're feeling.